Okay, uh, hello everyone. Welcome back to my uh, welcome back to my call. My name is Roman Class, and let's begin the our presentation. In the in this time, I will present to you about my class uh, in English grammar um, for meeting uh, four. Okay, so my name is Alfie Kapasiani, and I'm from Vice City. Let's continue. Right. So for the first one, on the first slide, I give you the example of the drama from Elizabethan era. And for the tragic drama, we have uh, Romeo and Juliet from Shakespeare. Then from for the comedy, it is also from William Shakespeare. Uh, his play with the title um, Midsummer Night Dream. This one is the most famous comedy of this play. Then the third one for example of tragic comedy. It is also from William Shakespeare and his uh, play title is The Tempest. Then um, after that we continue to the next slide. In the next slide, I give you the example, uh, the examples of each type of drama, and I was asked for giving three of the examples of the uh, the uh, three of the type from modern era. Now, um, in here, I choose to give you the depth of a salesman by Arthur Miller as the tragic drama. And on the synopsis, synopsis here, this uh, title is of Arthur, Miller, Arthur Miller's play, um, Death of a Salesman, addresses loss of identity and a man's inability to accept change within himself and the society. The play is a montage of, of memories, dreams, con confrontations, and arguments, all of which make up the last 24 hours of Willie Loman's life. The play concludes with Willie's suicide and subsequent funer funer funeral. And this is very tragic, and it is one of the most famous drama of Arthur Miller and uh, from this play we can see the end of the play is the suicide act of the main character which is the which is Willie Loman and I can see from the synopsis this is very tragic and this one is the characteristic of a tragic drama, which is the main character. It's usually death. Then let's continue with the second example of modern drama. This is the example of comedy drama by Kenneth Lonergan. Here we can see the title is Lobby Hero. Then the synopsis I wrote here. This show follows a security guard in his late 20s, his strict supervisor and an overbearing cop, and his rookish female, female partner. The show is set in a foyer in a middle-income Manhattan apartment building in the middle of the night. So from this comedy drama, uh, I think we all can see this is one of the most um, comedy or a uh, type of drama that we can see on the uh, Netflix or, or on the uh, cable, uh, TV cable when, where we can see the comedy uh, brought up, wrapped in a uh, uh, slice of life, then uh, there, there is uh, some happiness and also fun ending and happy ending in this drama as a characteristic of comedy. 
and let's continue with the last um, example I give here. This is from the tragic comedy drama. I brought here uh, the title is Endgame by Samuel Beckett. And this one uh, for the synopsis is, it is about a blind, paralyzed man and his servant who await an, an unspecified end, which seems to be the end of their relationship, death, and the end of the actual play itself. So this is um, the, the characteristic of this tragic comedy is, it is uh, uh some kind of or somewhat still have the tragic like uh, tragic drama but it also have uh some fun for, from the comedy inside it so even if the um the end of the drama is also death of the main character uh in in the middle or inside the drama, in tragic comedy, we can find uh, the happiness or fun thing uh, played within uh, between the character and the story. Then on the next slide, let's continue with the next slide. The next slide, I was asked to give uh, famous names behind tragic drama and his um, at work. So I give you two examples of the famous names. One, uh, two of uh, most famous names behind tragic drama. Here I brought you the Arthur Miller who was, we explained, uh, uh, who was I explained on the uh, previous slide and his his um, play, his title of his artwork is Death of a Salesman, as we explained before. Then on the right side, you can see here there is a Silus. A Silus is uh, one of the famous names behind tragic drama from um, the ancient Greek era. This uh, person has the most famous play with title The Persian. I, I there are there are some famous title of his work, but I choose this one because this is the most eye catching one for me. Then after that, let's continue with the next slide. On the next slide, we can see famous names behind comedy drama. And in this comedy drama, I brought you Herrick Ibsen. Why Herrick Ibsen? Because this man is um, one of the most famous names behind the comedy. His artwork in comedy, he has love comedy, which is uh, one of the one of the comedy uh, romantic comedy then on the right side I brought you from the modern era so this is Harold Pinter and his famous uh, artwork is the dumb right uh, the dumb waiter then let's continue with the next slide on the next slide I brought you the famous names behind tragic comedy drama and here we have John Fletcher and his artwork title is Shepherdess. Then here we have Anton Chekhov and his uh, famous artwork with title The Cherry Orchard. Then after that, I give you the next slide. In the next slide, there is the tragic drama, its characteristics. It's or history and origin. Okay, for the characteristic for tragic drama, we have seven number here. The first one is it is mimetic. So tragic drama have has to be mimetic. Then it has to be serious. Then itself a full story 
of an appropriate length. So, tragic drama has to be uh, a full story that tells uh, uh, a pack of a story in appropriate length. Then, um, tragic drama has to contain rhythm and harmony. Then the rhythm and harmony appear in different combination in different parts of the tragedy. So the rhythm and harmony has to be um, played differently in every part of the tragedy and it has to be uh, suitable and uh, compatible with the tragedy act. Then uh, for number six, the characteristic of tragic drama, it is performed rather than narrated. So um, tragic drama is mostly performed on the theater or performed by the playwright or the actor on the theater rather than narrated, rather than it being told by someone. And the last one, it is a rose's feelings of pity and fear, and then put and then put these feelings through through catharsis. So it has it has to build the pity feeling. The you uh, you us the audience have to be sad. Has to be uh, feeling very fe uh, feeling very afraid and. Uh, feeling uh, giving give 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 um, give the actor the feeling of the empathy. I mean, I mean, you have to uh, build the empathy for the the story that uh, being played on the theater in tragic drama. Then for the I mean, for the history and origin of tragic drama, tragedies or tragic drama are the first heard of as take place in Dionys Dion Dionysiac celebration in Athens at the turn of the 5th century BCE. Then tragedy be begins in ancient Greece, of course, and the first great tragedies were staged as part of a huge, huge festival known as the city of Dionysia. Thousands of Greek citizens, Greek men, that is, for no women were allowed back then, would rather gather in the fast amphitheater to watch a trilogy of tragic plays such as Aeschylus Oresteia. It is one of the most um, famous play on the Greek era. Then let's continue with the next slide. On the next slide, we have comedy drama, its characteristic, history, and origin. Now, um, I list on this slide. These are the characteristics of com comedy drama. The first one, mistaken identity and or misconception. It usually have the mistaken identity or misconception. Then it has to bring reason versus emotion. Then it has to be fake and fantastical in comedy drama. Then the comedy drama has to have their idyllic setting. Then it has to be the difference of separation and reconciliation through the story of the comedy drama. Then the most important thing from comedy drama characteristic is it has a happy ending. Then for the history of the origin, the word comedy seems to be connected with derivation with the Greek for meaning to revel, and comedy arose out the revels associated with the rites of Dionysius, Dionysius, a god of vegetation. 
the origins of comedy are thus bound up with vegetation ritual. Aristotle, in his poetic stages, states that comedy originated in phallic song and that, like tragedy, it began in improvisation. Okay, so from here we can assume that, or oh, I mean, we can conclude that comedy, comedy drama is started, it began with the improvisation of the playwriter or of the author of the director so they can um, get into the shape of uh, modern era comedy drama then for the next slide for the next slide we have here the tragic comedy drama with characteristics history and the origin okay so for the characteristics Tragic comedy is a play that blends element and both tragedy and comedy is known as a tragic comedy. Then a tragic comedy might be a serious drama in the presence with funny moments that periodically lighten the mood or a drama that has a happy ending. Then the last characteristic is the blend of suffering, sorrow, humor, romance, forgiveness, and reunion in the play confirms its label, its label as a tragic comedy. Then from this characteristic, we can differentiate tragic comedy from tragic and from comedy, right? Then um, for its history and origin, tragic comedy, dramatic work, incorporating both tragic and comic elements. When coined by the Roman dramatist Plautus in the second century before Christ or BC, the word denoted a play in which the gods and men, masters and slaves, reverse the roles traditionally assigned to them. Then gods and heroes acting in comic burlesque and slaves adopting tragic dignity. Okay, so that's how the tragic comedy uh, begin in its story, and it is one of the origin. Then for the last slide, I want to thank you for listening to me. And again, don't forget to like my videos, and thank you for listening to me, and see you on the next assignment. Goodbye.